Okay, so in this video we're going to be looking at basically how to export videos onto any personal devices you want. What we're going to do here, we're going to right click, go onto menu, and then we go to playback. In playback you'll select the cameras you're looking to look at, and it will basically, you're checking here what date and what time you want the video to come up for. So. This also helps to confirm that everything's been configured properly. So if it's on the wrong time, when you select that time later on, you're not actually going to find the video that you're looking for. Here we're going to avoid that issue because we'll check exactly what date and what time the video comes up for. So these details are up here. It will tell you the date, then the time frame that you're looking at. So that's just to confirm what video, date, time we're looking for. So later on, back onto that same menu, so right click, menu, and then we go on to export. In export, again it will show up which cameras you're looking for, which channels, and then you can also edit the date and time that you're looking for. So, we can also edit so that only motion detection will come on, only when your alarm has gone off, you've been triggered, all these things. You can select these individually if there's something specific that you're looking for. We're just going to stick with all, and then we're going to search. So what it does here at search is for all the things that come up. And if you select a video, tick that little thing over there, it will tell you the start, date and time that you're looking for. And you can also play the video to confirm it is the exact video that you're looking to export onto your device. You can also export all, but do be careful that if you are doing this, there is enough space on your device to do so. It's basically, the smaller the device, the more likely you are to have the storage. So we're going to export just that one video. And we're going to select our device. So this can either be a pen drive or a hard drive, which you've inserted into the device. And then we are going to format. So the two options that come up are NTFS and File Allocation Table 32. This is the the default on the item, so this is the one that we're going to keep on the device. And we're going to press OK. It will format this. And then we will press export. It will ask for the video and log. And it will start exporting that. And you'll basically wait for the bar to fill up. And once that's been completed, it means that it's gone through. So it started loading up there. And on your computer or laptop when you actually want to view this, the best player to use is VLC player. You can download it on any computer, I think if you just search it onto Google, and that's a bit more reliable than using Windows player because sometimes that doesn't actually work with this quite accurately. Mm. And once that will be done, it will be on your pen drive or hard drive. You can take it out, add it into your computer, save it, do whatever you like with it.